Hello everybody, welcome back. As you can see, we are hard at work cutting LVLs to go in the two by six wall that we created last week. Today they are cutting those, I believe he bought 11 and a quarter ones, and so he was cutting them in a half to use above the door, and he will do the same thing above the windows. He likes to use LVLs because they are stronger. He also likes that they're straight, and you know how he is about things being level. So I will try to explain as we go along today what they are doing as well, but join in. If you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments and we will get back to them as soon as we can. Thanks guys. As you can see, we're still cutting um, the beams to go above the doors and for the windows. One thing that I wanted to let you guys know, it is super windy today, so I've tried to turn down the volume as much as possible, but you'll still hear some wind. Also, this recording didn't last as long as we had hoped today just because of the wind and not having um, enough weight on the camera. So today's video will be pretty short but hopefully I can get some still pictures that will help um, show the progress from today. I wanted to introduce Cash over there to everybody as well. He uh, is helping us out. They were gonna try to stand this wall up today and I am pretty sure that I can't help them with that. I can do a little, but they need more muscle than I can give them. So thanks for helping out today, Cash. So they have two of these beams cut and uh, they are in the process of tying these two together. They start on the ends, and then they do kind of a, a zigzag kind of pattern to screw all of those together. Then they'll add the third one and they'll screw that in from the other side. You can see how they are trying to get everything level again to make sure that it lines up appropriately and fits into the hole that they already have made for that. Here is that moment where they are going to put it into the wall. It's pretty tight, pretty snug, but it's supposed to be. And he gets it in there just like that, and then they'll attach it with screws, and that header will be finished. You can see that they are trying to level out that beam that they just put into the wall. They're using some what we call Viking clamps, which will raise it up and make it level on both sides of the wall. Just helps to make sure that when you put your sheetrock on or your siding on the outside, that everything's level and you don't have any bumps or lumps or 
noticeable imperfections in how your wall ends up being. Next, they're going to move along to the windows and get the LVLs cut for these windows. Those are two foot by four foot windows. So two foot high, four foot long, and we've kind of sandwiched those two together right there. So I'm not exactly sure how he's planning on doing that one. Um, maybe one long one is my guess, is what he's thinking. As you can see, they have moved on to the next wall. It is super windy outside, so they have decided to just prop the other wall that they just made up against the building for now until the winds die down a little bit. It's just not really safe to try to do it today. So they're gonna continue and start the next wall, and it is a two by four wall. There's not near as much stuff that's gonna go in this wall, and so they're hoping they can get that kind of framed out today. Here's a nice picture of the wall completed. You can see the LVLs. You can see the big eight foot by eight foot doorway. And like I said earlier, they decided not to put this wall up today because it is super windy. But that gives you a good idea where the studs were used to support that LVL. It's a big door. And like I said, that is also a two by six wall. You can also see he kind of puzzled the end of it is what I call it. And he goes back in when he sets the next part of the wall and he attaches it so that it's not square to square. Here you can see a picture of the new wall. This is the two by four wall that they did. You can see the LVLs in the top of those windows there. You can also see how he laid out the jack studs, the trimmers, and the king studs. Wanted to make, all sh make sure that all of these windows were supported properly since this is a movable unit. can see how he laid out the studs for each one of those and he did go ahead and make one long LVL at the top to cover two windows in this and you can see that in a second in a better picture when I back up a little bit that is also where the other door will go and that's a seven by eight door and again he strung it out the end of it um, then he will build back into that with the next wall. It's like a puzzle so that you don't have um, a lot of spacing or places where your studs all come together and then start again. He wanted to tie it all in really, really well. As you can see, we have purchased some more wood. We have flooring, we have trim, we have siding, and we have ceiling all in that stack. We uh, got this product from a company in Texas, Phillips Forest Products is the name of the company and it's a mill in DeKalb, Texas. There is pine siding there, there is hickory floors there, 
There is alder trim there, and there is also a product called comb siding. And I've looked and looked and looked for this product, and when I did find it, it was very expensive. Not really what we were thinking we could afford to do in our tiny house. And then I found this company that also does it. And we are really excited to see what that finished product looks like. We are gonna put some cool lighting in it. So stay tuned for that. And I'll put a link in the description for that company. We're cleaning up here. It's been a long day, long windy day. So we are tired <laughs> and ready to go find some food. There's one last shot of the wall, the two by six wall that they were really hoping to get up today, but weather did not permit that. And one more shot of the two by four wall. This is a really good shot where you can see the LVLs and how he has used the studs to support that wall and support those LVLs. That's gonna be a seven by eight door there. And again, he's got lots of studs making sure that everything stays nice and square and he fingered it out on the ends again and he will fill that in with the next wall i hope you guys are enjoying these videos we're excited to be able to do this for you guys they got the first wall up yay um this is the back side of the house that is the two by four wall and you can see that part of it is actually on the wheel well, and the other part of it goes clear to the front of the edge of the trailer. Here you have uh, the other wall up, yay! This will be the front door side as well, and you can see the big opening that the front door has, as well as the windows above in the living room area. Wow. This is just a shot from the end. They'll work on this wall on this end next, but they've got bracing up in place because it is supposed to be windy tomorrow. Just wanna make sure that everything is nice and secured. And this is a shot from the back side. You can see the nice big window that they'll be in the family room as well as the windows above in the kitchen. Cleaning up the mess now. Well, it's starting to get dark, but a good day. After getting the walls built over the weekend, we used uh, skid loaders to pick them up onto the trailer. Got them all braced on so the wind doesn't bother them. They are all plumbed up and measured out so they're perfectly in line with the trailer. All of our headers are in and looking good. Got full support. So, got our cross bracing in to hold them while we're getting the rest of the walls built. And, uh, next we'll build this end wall to tie it together and then just work our way down to the other end of the house. Good day. It's been a great couple of days of building. We appreciate you following us. Give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and join us on the rest of this journey. We're excited to share it with you all.